Hey, what's up? This is Brian Pfeiffer, the owner of BachelorettVegas.com, and I'm standing here in front of uh, Zook Nightclub. This is a new addition to the Las Vegas nightclub scene, and we're at the Resorts World, which is a beautiful new hotel across the street, almost from the uh, the Wynn Encore Complex. And uh, wow, they got really something cooking here. They got a new day club called IU Day Club as well. Uh, but the the big the big hitter here is uh, Zook Nightclub, and that's what I'm standing in front of here. So uh, let's talk about Zook and uh, Zook Nightclub Bottle Service in Las Vegas. And I'm going to give you all the ins and outs of getting into this place. Uh, you can see here in the background they got some big LEDs going on. Uh, they're flashing uh, Tiesto and, and Zed on the LED. I'm here on an off night. They're not actually open tonight. But um, I do have some footage from the other night when I did my first table here. And uh, the customers had a great time. I've actually had a comp table here as an industry comp. And it was a fantastic uh, party. And I really like the layout of the club. Uh, it gives you that kind of like a visa, like warehouse, big club feel, high ceilings, really good light show. Uh, they have it broken down into two rooms. There's the main room, which has the main DJ, and then the stage. And then there's kind of like upper, uh, lower dance floor, upper dance floor, kind of like third tier. And there's another room that they can section off, which on big DJ nights, when say Tiesto or Zed's here, they open it up all and make it all one room. But on other nights, they can potentially section it off, have another DJ in the other room. That's called the Empire Room. And then there's Empire uh, Tier 1 and Tier 2 tables. Okay, so basically like your dance floor and then your upper dance floor tables. Now, when the whole rooms open up, I don't mind the lighting here. There's a lot of crazy LED stuff going on in, my, in the background here. But, uh... When the, uh, when the whole rooms open up, it, it, there's really not a bad table in the whole club, okay? Even the one in the, you know, say, tier two of the Empire Room, even though it's far, far back from the DJ, it's still a good view and it's still a good table, okay? So there's a lot of traffic back there. Um, you got several bars spread out throughout the venue. There's uh, one on the right when you walk in. There's a couple on the left-hand side, and then there's a big circular one uh, that uh, is kind of like uh, for overflow and stuff from the main room when the other bars are, are full. The club's huge. I would, I would guess the capacity is somewhere in the neighborhood of about 3,000, maybe even 3,500. It's a monster club. Um, it's upscale, so you're definitely going to want to dress the part here. You're going to want to wear nice clothes. No uh, work boots, no jerseys, no uh, athletic gear. Um, nice clothes, guys. So you, you know, get your nice pants on, uh, maybe a nice pair of jeans. No rips, no, you know, nothing like that. You don't want to wear anything baggy. Um, a nice shirt. You can wear like a V-neck and maybe a collared shirt of some sort. A long sleeve, uh, you know, a designer pattern long sleeve shirt. You can get away with like your Yeezy and your high-end sneakers, you know, the ones that cost like a thousand bucks. I recently bought a pair of those Louboutins and, you know, they are cheap. And those those will be okay. Uh, they don't want you to wear like gym shoes and stuff, okay? But, you know, higher-end, um, upscale sneakers are okay. Dress shoes are definitely preferred. Uh, but the place is upscale, so dress the part. Ladies, obviously, come correct. You want to look good. You don't want to wear, be wearing sweatpants and whatnot. You want to wear a dress or um, some kind of jean get-up, um, you know, upscale, sexy leather pants, if you will. All right, so that's the dress code. Now let's talk a little bit about security here. They're actually pretty, uh, you know, pretty reasonable here. They just, you know, kind of search you for any kind of weapons. They do a metal detector, wand check. Um, it, they didn't really make you empty your pockets per se, but you know, you, you definitely got to pull your keys out and whatnot. So just don't bring anything uh, or have anything that could get you in trouble when you're walking through this place, because there is a possibility they could find something. Uh, so far, from what I've seen, they're not the strictest in town when it comes to that. But again, it's not worth getting caught up over something and getting 86 from the property. And by the way, 86 means you get kicked off the property permanently uh, if you get caught with something that's illegal. Okay, so you don't want that to happen, guys. Because they have a day club here too, and you might want to go to the day club and the nightclub or visit the nightclub several nights. They have a lot of good big DJs here. Let's talk a second about the music here. Uh, they are booking a, uh, you know, they have Tiesto on the roster for the first year, Zed, uh, DJ Snake. Uh, they also have um, some, some tech house guys, if you will. Uh, I've seen Cash Cash in their lineup. They have, um, he's more like EDM. They also have, uh, they also had a couple of big J Balvin parties here uh, that was done by the, a company called Pollen. So they do some little Latin flair here and there with some big artists. Uh, they have some tech house guys. I saw Zoo the last time I was here, Z-H-U, tech house guy. I know they have Disclosure. Uh, they've had Nick Fanchuli here, some of the guys I like. And um, good, good music, you know, that's going to be like your Sunday moonbeam party, okay? They're going to have like a Sunday tech house party. I'm not sure how long they're going to continue that. Uh, that was kind of more of a summer thing, but I know they have Disclosure here that's coming up Sunday. All right. So let's talk about bottle service in this place. And, um, you know, of course, of course the bottles are not cheap in this uh, venue. You're talking about $750 a bottle, roughly. And, um, you know, tip and tax on top of that. 
it's not cheap. There's a venue fee, there's a tip of tax fee, uh, and then of course then there's the tip for the waitress. So um, you know your seven hundred fifty dollar bottle turns into a thousand bucks plus, and um, you know that's what you're looking at. And then each table has like a minimum spend. Okay, so let's talk about the tables, and as I talk about them, I'm gonna flash them up here, and we'll you know get a better idea of what they look like here as we're going. So the, the best tables in the club that I can tell, as far as I can tell, are the ones up by the stage. Uh, where they call those the stage tables up by the DJ. Okay, you got the stage one and stage two on the right and the left of the DJ, and then there's three like U booths behind the DJ. Okay, those are probably the most prime tables in the whole club. Um, they're pretty nice, pretty expensive as well, but you're up there with the DJ, and a lot of people like that. Um, the next level is going to be your lower dance floor tables. Uh, there's kind of like the horseshoe, which is very similar to what you see at like a Hakkasan or Excess or, um, or even maybe an Amia, a little bit wider on the Amia thing. But there's a dance floor in the middle, and then they got the horseshoe, and then you got your lower dance floor tables. There's one in the center that's kind of like the owner's table, that's probably the best one. All right, the right and the left are basically the same on both sides. It's pretty nice. And then right behind that, you're going to have your second, um, you know, your upper dance floor tables, or if you're first tier, if you will. And those are pretty good tables as well, reasonably priced, uh, considering, you know, the, the magnitude of the artist and whatnot. You get a pretty nice big table. There's a lot of space to move around for your group. And uh, those are pretty solid as well. And then there's a third row, uh, your tier two, if you will, that's basically a really great view as well, a little less expensive than the, you know, the first tier, and also very solid tables. Now, that's your main room uh, tables. Um, there'll be a link below, and you can click on that, and you can look at the map. We have a 3D map, and we have a table number map, so get an idea of what you know, the table is for you and your group. Now, you get over to the other room, which, again, on big DJ nights, feels like it's just part of the main room, just, you know, extension of it. But they do have a wall that you can put up and, you know, section that off. They call that the Empire Room. And then there's the, you know, visualize, like, another dance floor, basically, there, and a DJ in the center. It's that, that one window's closed. And then there's your lower dance floor tables, which are your Tier 1 uh, tables. And then there's the Tier 2 tables that are behind them, okay? And that, again, is like another horseshoe. So it's basically you have a, a dance floor for the main room, and then there's another little dance floor for the uh, Empire Room room and then you have your lower and upper dance floor tables in the Empire room as well okay so those are pretty good uh, very reasonably priced uh, I've been noticing for like the big artists like Tiesto and Zed when they're here if you don't get one of those uh, uh, Empire room tables the tier one or tier two tables in advance those are in the written neighborhood of anywhere from say three to four thousand uh, might have to tip a little bit to get a certain one or bump somebody if you will uh, you know those those are gonna be gone pretty quick okay and then you know, you try to book something last minute, say the last like you know 24 hours in advance of the, the night, you're only going to see stuff that's like 8K and above. Okay, so those those three and 4K ones are going pretty quick, and there are good tables. They're pretty solid. So, um, so let me you know if you're coming out to Vegas and you're, you want to check out this new nightclub Zook, it's a great club. It's got a great vibe, got great energy. Um, I like the feel of the lighting and the, the warehouse, open fields, very very uh, you know Ibiza style, if you will. And if you want to book this club, um, my cell is right here, 773-459-8133. I'm happy to jump on a call with you and answer any questions you may have and uh, get this thing booked. We do a deposit in advance to hold your table, and then once your table's locked in, nobody can get it. That's a, you know, the price is the price, and that's what you pay, and you've agreed to that, and they're going to hold that table for you. Okay. So if you want uh, to book this uh, with me, hit me up. Uh, again, I'm Brian Pfeiffer. Thanks for checking this video out. I will talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.